to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I hope you all are having a great day. It is, I believe, a holiday today, Columbus Day. Uh, so if you're home from work, I hope you're crafting beautiful things and enjoying yourself and relaxing. What I have today is a review from DP Clubs. They were kind enough to send me these items for review. But before we start, I just want to thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave. Really, really means a lot to me. I would not have this channel if it wasn't for all of you. If you have any ideas or suggestions, email me. My email is down below or leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts and send me some pictures. I've had some uh, viewers that email me some pictures of what they're working on. I love to see it, plus it gives me all kinds of ideas. So I, I just wish YouTube would let you post put photos in the comments. That would be really great. So DP Clubs is the kind of store that sells diamond painting and cross stitch and paint by number, and you can get custom photos done where you upload your photo and they'll make you a kit. Um, check them out, their prices are good. When you go to their website, and I will have a link down below. Uh, up at the top right, you can change the currency. So when it, you first open it up, I think it shows the British pound for pricing. Just put your change your, the country up there to whatever country you're in so that you get the most accurate pricing for what you're looking at. They do have a special right now <clears throat> with percentages off that come automatically. So if you buy at least one item, you get 10% off. 14% off five items, 18% off for 10 items, and it just keeps going up from there. I think 15% uh, off, or 22% off if you buy 15 items, and you get free shipping after a certain point too. So I have two cross stitch kits here today from them. And one of them shocked me because you know how I feel about DIY cross stitch. And it wasn't marked on their page that this was a DIY cross stitch chart, but then I got it because I thought the picture was just so cute. A little stained glassy kind of Santa. So I thought we would at least look at it and see if they've made any improvements. So let's take a look at this and let me grab my measuring tape too. Okay, here we go. All right. So this is a cute little stained glass Santa, and he is $12.79, which I thought was a little high. There is his picture. He's so cute. He is really cute. Here is the paper pattern. It's very small. Look at my thumb. Very, very small. It says scan QR code, but I'm not seeing a QR code on here. So this is 32 colors, which is an improvement. I think usually they're only about 30. Let's take a look at this. Well, there's definitely a whole lot of white, isn't there? Okay. I don't want to tangle these all up. Now this is a big picture. And I gotta say, he is printed very nicely. Now we do not have surged edges with this company. Here's your product number, your gridding, in case you need to find an area on this paper pattern that you're not clear about. I mean, it is small, but you could take a picture of it with your tablet or your phone and blow it up. If you do have a question about this, you could find it on here, though it would be a little difficult. But this is printed very well. I'm not seeing any blurring. I'm seeing everything is stained in its square. It is very stiff, very stiff. Here's a picture of him, and that is a better picture. I posted a picture up on the screen so you could see it better. Now here's our legend. Our legend, that's the number of your floss. The symbol for it that you'll find on here the DMC codes, and a color chart. That same legend is over here, and it's so small, and everything matches up with the legend here on the fabric. 
Yeah, all these symbols are the same. All the colors are the same. Now this is so big. So let's take a measurement. He's a cute guy. He really is. I'm happy that they have at least a couple more colors here. Now, vertically, little Santa here is one, two, three, four, five, eight, 15 and five eighths, so a little bit over 15 and a half inches wide by the same. A little over 15 and a half inches tall. It's 173 stitches by 173 stitches, a 50 by 50 centimeter. That, with all these color blocking areas, excuse me, and it being so big, I think the detail will come out good in these areas along the edge where is all the different colors. Let's take a look at the floss. Now, they did give us two needles. Excuse me, so that's your kit, two needles right there. And then here we have just the very most basic floss card. It does not have any of the niceties to it that a Joy Sunday floss card or a spring floss card would have. Here is your hank of white. And they just put it in here with no um, little thing on the end to tell you the floss color. I'm assuming they think you know. So this being that this is all white, so much white with his beard in the background, this would be 3865. And then the colors are gorgeous. I gotta say that. Beautiful colors. Got red, yellows, golds, burgundies, more red, a lot of different shades of blue. Oh, this blue is just gorgeous. And they just threw it in here. They didn't knot it, so that could fall out. This color is really pretty, too. But this blue, number 17, this is 825 blue. It is so pretty. So it has very pretty colors to it. And it is, it is printed nicely. I mean, I'm not seeing any of the issues with the printing that I used to find with them, so... I'm hoping that they picked up their game a little bit, but they still have some some changes to make to make it better. So yeah, this is twelve dollars and seventy nine cents with all the floss you get and how big this picture is. I do think um, it's a little bit too expensive. Really, it should be under ten dollars. But I think that's just because I don't know. Maybe I just don't really care for VI this DIY cross stitch, but. There we go, we've got Santa. Let me put this all back in here. And then we're gonna look at the next kit. And this kit, I thought, was beautiful. Here we've got the Joy Sunday logo up here. This, uh, Santa was 11 count, this is 14 count. This is called Fairy Tale Wreath. And it's just so pretty. So, so pretty, let's take a look at it. So here's our wonderful instructions on the back. Diagrams, how to soak it afterwards, how to find the right floss colors. Nice resealable pouch with a window in the front. Now here's the picture without the glare. I just think that's so pretty. That would be beautiful. Now it says 36 by 40 centimeters. Now here, they give you both charts. Do they? No, sorry. So this is the chart for the paper pattern here. So we have got 39 colors, and then we have six half stitch colors, French knot for two, quarter stitch colors. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine quarter stitch colors and three back stitch colors. So quarter stitch colors, you know, you only go in at the quarter. Here they're showing you. And then I think on the back of this, because they give so many diagrams, let's see, we've got here, they give you an example of quarter stitch. 
So all the different stitches you need for this are shown back here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my allergies are acting up. So the symbols on the actual powder, uh, fabric and the symbols on here are different. Don't let that confuse you. You can see there is going to be a lot of back stitching with this. But that is just going to bring out the detail. And I like the fact it's got so much half stitching and that it's a partial. So all these areas in here that are white, you don't need to stitch at all. I think this is gorgeous. Look at that. That's so, so pretty. So pretty. Let's look at the actual fabric itself. It's not real big either, which is nice. Okay, it's called Fairy Tale Wreath. Here we've got our serged edges. Let's see how it's printed. It's printed nice and clearly, very easy to read. I think this is just beautiful. Now this kit was $8.79, which I think is a good price. Here we've got our legend along the bottom and the sides. This is so pretty. How pretty would this be on a little pillow? I mean, you can frame it, you can make a little wall hanging out of it, but on a little pillow, I just think this would be so pretty. Look at that. Maybe pick one of these blues and, and use it as your um, the back of the pillow. Now, this is how you do it right, right here with these floss cards. Here's your product number. It reminds you that it's a 14 count. Two needles. So we have our floss with DMC code, color chart, and how much they give you of that color. There's blues and purples and whites and pinks. And then on this side, you not don't need a whole lot of big wads with this one because you have, um, it's only a partial. And you'll take out of this six, six strand floss, two strands each time. But look at all the different shades of purple. Red and orange and blue, more yellow. And then over here, my goodness, these colors, the greens even so many different blues. This is just beautiful. I really think those are gorgeous colors. Really pretty colors. What a pretty, pretty picture. Let's get a measurement on it, though. Let me wrap this up so I don't tangle it. Okay, so for measurement-wise, It's 11 and a half inches wide by a little over 12 and a half inches tall. It's 160 stitches across, 175 stitches vertically. So, yeah, that is really, really pretty. Have any of you done these? Done this picture? Have you seen this picture yet? I think it's great. I think it's great for Christmas, too. Really. I mean, it has. It's got like little things hanging down. Could be like little ornaments. It may not be Christmassy colors, but you know, sometimes my Christmas tree doesn't have red and green on it. It has blues and teals and silvers and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, you don't have to necessarily follow the color scheme and it could still make it very festive, very decorative. How pretty. I just love this picture. How pretty is that? I will have links down below in the com in the description for both of these charts, or both of these kits, I should say. And if you like this video, if you could hit the like button, that would be great. I would really appreciate it. It makes a big difference with YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you have a wonderful day. A great start to a new week. Take care, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.